Well, guys, I am back to my Mo Curie playthrough as it took forever to get a whole new team up. As you know, it's like almost everyone got replaced as everyone's up to level 36 now. And of course, check out Irise here. She's at level 50. <laughs> oh my god! That's what happens when you can't take her out and put someone else in her place. My god! She's 14 levels higher than everyone else. And not only that, She's 17 levels higher than the recommended level. Holy crap. If I can't, if Irise can't single-handedly almost win this battle just by herself, that is something wrong with the game or something, because that can't be right logically. Especially like in, like in um, Pokemon too. If, even if you have the type advantage and stuff, 17 levels behind, you're going to have a lot of trouble. So anyways, this is, might be the second to last chapter of the story, because I think, like I said before on, um, Steam, I think it said there was, um, 25 chapters, and this is gonna be 24 now, so... The story's almost over, but I think I might still more, I mean, still do more episodes, because I want to check out all those, um, routes and stuff, where you can train off-screen that I have not touched yet. Of course, that'd be nice to see, because, I mean, those levels that you saw off, if you ever played the game, they're between 25 to 50 on the last bunch of levels. Jesus Christ! That's... Iris they barely is the only one that's even at 50 for crying loud, and I gotta battle a whole bunch of others, like in the 50s for crying loud? Sweet God, that would definitely not be easy whatsoever. And it's nice to be able to get back to this after a few weeks away. And of course, it would be nice to be, except that remember, I found out I'm the only one that is actually doing this series on YouTube, at least a long ass playthrough. Alright, so stage 24. Leela, perhaps I got battle? Oh, yeah, here we go. So, let's see her stats. Level furry free. Wow, she's got a whole bunch of magic. But her defense and attacks... Okay, let's see. Scale of Heaven. I don't quite know what that means. But, of course, you have... Increase your magic by 10. That's most certainly not good. Alright, so, um... Irisa easily has the stats to kick her ass on her own, probably. But, first off... Um, summon someone. We'll summon, um, what was her name? Kodoku, wasn't it? Let me make sure. Yeah, because remember, she has a move called, um, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but not only does it do damage, but also lowers the attack and defense by 10%, which, my god, that is going to be devastating if that's used consecutively over and over again. Lower defense attack by 10% and do damage too? Jesus. That would be like overkilling Pokemon for crying out loud. Even though there is moves that sometimes do that. That do damage and I'm lower like attack or defense. But usually not both and 10%. And then again it goes down by like 33% of Pokemon. All the way down to like minus 200. Only problem is Kodoku can't move whatsoever pretty much. Alright, no, can't do that. Um, um, shit. Okay. Um, let's see. Who should I summon is the question. Um... Trying to think. I think I'll do Valkyrie high attack and stuff. As in the turn right here. Made another summon. Of course, the Irisei now can't do literally anything. That's the only problem with Kodoku, she can't move at all. And of course, movement costs are extremely expensive to use with um, TP points. Alright, so. Attempt this. So, Valkyrie's now summoned. Oh, wind, okay, so wind moves are stronger, okay, so I'll keep that in mind. Unfortunately, Valkyrie can only attack, I think, forward. Yeah, but actually, I think she does actually have a move that can, um, have a good range. Yeah, no, never mind. Alright, Kudoku, go right here. You would say stay behind both of them, over here. And yeah, she's got three summoned already, that's kind of concerning, because I'm sure one's going to stop, there goes one. Oh god, no, not two. All three summon the same turn, are you shitting me? Oh, that's definitely not good. And she making another summon. Did a good amount of damage. Oh, great, lowered her attack, that's not good. Are you gonna hit Irisa in the same turn? What the fuck? No, Itachi, oh my god. Hit both of them. Wow, I hit you too! And of course, Russian wind's gonna be stronger. Oh god. So man, Kodoku took a really hard hit right there. Damn, Valkyrie took another hit too. <laughs> How the fuck are you still hitting after all these turns? You've hit like three 
times already for crying out loud. Jesus Christ, what is up with this shit? With a skill. <laughs> Dealing damage with a skill. I don't quite understand what that really means, but... Oh my god, that was ridiculous! How many times she did that?! Good god, Kudoku is like pretty much useless now! For crying out loud. Alright, so of course... Oh, Irisei can do a um, massacre now. But of course, not in a really good range to do that. Right, and of course, can't move right, move right here. And um, do a hard slash, see what happens. And not really much at all. That was definitely not good. But hey, our attacking stuff went up tremendously. So, um, I think it's time to do a massacre now. Hey, wait, I might be able to hit both? All three of them, maybe? Ah, shit, no. I can't. Damn it. Unless I move, maybe, somewhere else. Um, unfortunately, maybe right here can probably do it. Let's see, massacre now. Ah, nope. Can only hit two of them. Oh, shit, that sucks. And thankfully, Valkyrie cannot be hit because, um, Irisei has the ability that prevents hitting, um, your, um, creatures and herself. So I guess we'll hit you two, then. Knock out! Hopefully knock out both of them. Ah, damn it. Wait, no, not yet. Oh, good! Both went down! That was good. So we took down two of her creatures. So now, of course, Kadoku still can move, but... Oh, that's right, she has life drain to get some HP back. Of course, she can't do that. And digestive fluid can't reach. And I'm sure I've already blew, um, blew my chance to do all moves. And of course, can't flip poison right there, so... Looks like everyone else can is done for now. And of course, Iris, they can't do anything right now. So, end of turn. She made another summon. So I took down two of hers. So, that's only one left now. Ice Lance. Didn't do much damage to ears, say. And you're gonna do another attack. Oh, great, put Barry on her. But then again, we're not gonna be attacking her probably anytime soon. Of course, ears say really can't do anything right now. And of course, Kodoku still can't do anything. Too far away and such shit. And of course, Valkyrie's too far away to do anything either. Guess we could just try and increase your attack. For as little as that gonna do. You say I don't think it's summon anyone eat. Oh, she could summon you, but uh, I'm not so sure about that. And she has too much um SP I mean too low SP to do another attack, so back off over here. Alright, so So that looks like all of her Summons too. Looks like I'm about to check off down here because remember you can check down here. And um, oh great, another barrier. So both of them have barrier now. That's definitely not good. You gotta go. Hey, this would be a perfect spot to do massacre if only Irisei had enough SP to do it. She's still too short. It'd be a perfect shot to hit all three of them. Let's see. Um, um, Valkyrie's too far away. Kodoku's too far away. If I remove her, she Irisei might get some SP back, so I think I'm going to do that. Hopefully get SP back. Ah, damn it, she didn't. So let's see, she has... Um, two down, yep, that's all her last remain for. And of course, that's a perfect spot for Irisei to attack all three of them, but... Well, I mean, this... I mean, these other moves can do it, but the problem is they're not going to be strong enough. Massacre is the only thing that will, like, guarantee knock out all three of them. So we're going to have to move me back off. Have Valkyrie go up here, even though she's not gonna be able to do anything. Move you down here, and maybe have Valkyrie as like a sacrifice. So he would go oh, into no. turn. And of course, we gotta get rid of Layla's barrier too. Damn, huh. Valkyrie took a hard ass hit right there, and she's down. That's definitely not good. As you has got nothing now. Good, got four SP back. You're dead too. I guess you used up all your SP, so all she got left is free. But now it's four against one. Now ain't that just something? Even though at least... Oh, God, shield. That's definitely not good. But Irisei still can hit all three of them now, I think, right there. No. Thank God. If that if that went off because the damn mouse screwed me up... No, don't do that either. Still trying to rotate the camera. Man, we got lucky. I got lucky twice right there. Alright, a massacre. 
Hit all three. Knock out, knock out. And of course your barrier end. So it's just two against one now. And of course until we get rid of that barrier, you're gonna be a problem. As we'll move you say back over here. All she can do now is attack. And she still has that barrier. Oh god, critical. That did nothing though. Oh, uh oh, that's definitely not good, having your attack raised like that. And of course, you have shield. So, you can't take any hits physically, but thankfully, Irisei's all of her moves are phys um, magic, so you can get hit by that still. You're Earth, and if I'm correct, you're weak by water. So, move you over here, and we'll do a water Nova. Really? You fucking missed? Are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus Christ. Unbelievable! And of course, keep hitting Irisei. And her attack keeps going up! That's not good! We need that to do something else. Irisei can hit again, but Irisei, you need to hit this time! Of course, miss. Good, got the hit! But still living. Alright, move you way over here. And it looks like it might be just ears. Okay, our barrier ending. Of course, gonna hit ears again. She's still doing a lot. As her attack's just going through the roof. And unfortunately, ears can't literally do anything. Oh my god, this is not good at all. She can't summon anyone. She can't attack anyone either. And of course, she can't move either. She's getting close to Leela over there too. It's definitely not good. Her shield went down. Still not even trying to attack either, unbelievably. Alright, so now Irisei can finally do a Water Nova again, but Irisei, you can't fuck up. You have to hit this time. There we go, finally! Now she has no one left to summon. And of course, Irisei, I think, I already moved. Yep, so that's gonna end our turn now. Looks like she's coming close, because that's all she can do now is just attack. She can't summon anyone else. Dad, just keep moving the Irisei all the way over here. Maybe I'll resummon, um... Um, Kodoku, even though she's going to be too far away to do anything. Alright, move Irisei over here. It's just a st matter of stalling. Got all of her SP up. As Irisei now can do, um... Um, Massacre. That might not be enough, though. Oh, she's all the way in the corner now! Are you kidding me? I think it's time to go try and do a Massacre. Here we go. Only half, over half damage. And is gonna be a while before she can do that again. And your storm. That didn't do that much, thankfully. Just sit right there and just wait till next turn. Oh shit, that's right, if she doesn't get more than 13 SP, she can't do anything. Oh good, she can do a uh, Massacre now. Because if, if she has 0 SP, she's gonna die too and we'll probably just lose. Right, here we go. And finally, Lila went down. Oh my god, that went 18 turns for god's sake. See how much EXP? Hey, you went up to 37, 37. Everyone went up to 37. Holy crap, no one learned to move. Oh! No Zuchi, oh my god, those moves you did with that barrier and um raise your attack every time did um um stone throw whatever. That was quite impressive. I already got two rock types, I mean ground types on the team. So that mm, could be an interesting swap if I put him in. Alright, so now. Man, I'm worn out today so far. As accidentally pressed Riggs or Rods when the mouse went off screen like an idiot. There we go. Got that but turned off. <sighs> oh boy. As we're almost nearing the end of the series, looks like.
That must be Misty. There we go. Irisei's mother. God damn, they look fucking similar as shit. The same hair color, the same eye color. Holy crap, are you kidding me? Good God. Irisei got a shit ton from Misty. Oh my God, that was incredible. Wow. I can't believe Misty looks that similar! Jesus! Alright, so... Yep, they look so damn similar, for God's sake! <laughs> well, that, that was the main reason of the journey, was to find Misty, you know? So, I guess I'm kind of curious what the last... Chap means part of the story, I guess, is gonna be, because I'm really curious. Yep, this would have been much better if they had voices here, too. I mean, they had voices for the characters. Why can't they do, um, cutscenes with the, um, char um character talking stuff and never really get that shit? Alright, so, I guess that's it for right now. So, let's see. The next chapter. Level 35. Yep, final chapter. God of Creation. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. I got everyone up to level 37, too. But let's see. Actually, everyone, yeah, everyone's up to 37. Except Irisei. Whoa, she didn't even gain. Looks like didn't gain any XP whatsoever. So, looks like 50 is the max you can go to. Wow. I mean, that's something. Alright, so let's see your stats. Really good attack. Really good defense. No magic whatsoever. That sand veal. That grants 25% invasion. That is unbelievably good. Let's see your moves. Stone throw. Good chance to flick shot. Increase your defense by 15% and does damage. Increase your attack at those 15%. Oh my god, that's just so good! Jesus, are you kidding me? And of course, you got shield too. Prevents physical moves and stuff. But at this point, again, they probably gonna do um, special stuff. So, wow. Oh, wait, so if I remember correctly, you had an um, ability that they had 10% sand terrain. So, if we turn the area to sand, your um, invasiveness will go up. Wow, that's really good. We better put that on you. Yep, I think I'm gonna have Nozuchi on the team for probably the final episode. And she's not that far up in terms of levels, so it's not going to be that long to train up. So, hopefully soon, the final chapter of Mulcary will be done. And I'll be the first one on YouTube to actually complete the story. But, of course, we got all of these stuff to take care of. Because I never showed any of this stuff off screen yet. So, it would be nice to actually see it for once. So, see you in the next episode as Mulcary is almost over. So, Johnny!